In this tutorial, we are going to learn what is comparable interface and how this comparable interface works in collections framework. So if we consider the following collections in the framework like tree set and tree map, they organize objects in ascending order. So that's the behavior of tree set and also tree map. And how this sorting generally works in these collections that's what we're going to see in this section right so let us start with a small example just I created a class A with a main method and I created a tree set object so which which will arrange objects in the ascending order or descending order so by default it organizes all the elements in ascending order so I am adding some string objects into this tree set and I am iterating through the tree set let us just execute this and see the output of this program right if you observe the output it is in the ascending order so if you see the order in which we add the objects first we added A first we added A then Z then D followed by E but if you check the output so it is in different order that is ascending order because tree set in collections framework generally does a sorting on the objects so internally your tree set is organizing all your string objects in an ascending order now the point is so how this sorting is working internally so what kind of logic it uses internally for sorting the objects which are added to the tree set okay let us open string class maximize this see this a string class provides implementation of comparable so this is what internally used for sorting objects in the tree set so fine let us open this comparable interface see this interface name comparable it provides only one method that is public int compared to your tree set internally depends on this implementation in order to organize objects in ascending order or descending order let us go with one more example right so string is inbuilt our string is inbuilt class it provides comparable implementation because of that sorting is working in tree set so let us take integer so let us take integer objects now add integers to this I'm saying 300, 200, 100, some 150. Yeah, it holds only integers. Ultimately, it's going to return integers for us. I'm just printing that object run this program and check the output the order in which we added objects into three cities 300 is first followed by 200 followed by 100 followed by 150 if you observe the output given by the same tree set first it returned 100 followed by 150 followed by 200 followed by 300 so internally it sorted all these integers 
and while retrieving them it's in ascending order so that's the behavior of tree set again how sorting is working for integer let's open this and check your integer class also provide the implementation of comparable that is the reason why sorting is working for integer and also why sorting is working for the string class now now i want to sort a custom object using a tree set for example i have a person class which is a custom created by us it's not inbuilt like a string or integer classes it has a property name and i'm using a constructor to initialize the instance variable of a person okay now i want to sort person objects using tree set so let us write a small code and add person objects into tree set and run and check output of that in order to test it i am saying sort person test the main method create a tree set tree set like this add person objects into this tree set so i'm adding hari first ravi Dilash, Chandra. So now we are adding custom object that is person into our tree set, and this tree set is going to sort person objects. Put a for loop to access. person objects from the tree set so i am printing name of each person which is added to this tree set right yeah see this so it is giving a class cast exception and see the message person cannot be cast to comparable so what's happening internally is tree set is trying to cast person into comparable as part of sorting them but a person is not providing any implementation of comparable because of that it is causing a class cast exception so what it signifies is if you want to sort any object using a tree set or using a tree map the objects must provide the implementation of comparable interface so otherwise sorting won't work in collections framework right let us implement comparable interface and let us rerun this example and see the results come back to person now person can have n number of properties so right now we have only name it also can have email phone number age and etc now 
then we have multiple properties we need to identify based on which property we want to sort them is it based on a name or is it based on an email or is it based on an age or whatever it is so in our example we have only one property name so let us implement comparable interface such that it will sort person objects using a name right so come here implements comparable so it is going to compare person objects so type can be replaced with person here right so this interface has one abstract method so we need to implement that in order to fix this error so click add unimplemented methods yeah so I will say p2 okay in this compare to implementation we need to choose based on which property of a person we want to sort so right now we have only one property that is name so let us implement this to sort person based on a name right so when we add person objects into a tree set or into a tree map sorry those when we add person objects into a tree set or tree map it compares one person with other persons in order to arrange them in the ascending order or descending order so it is going to take person one and it's going to compare with person two so now person one is this dot person one is this and I want to compare the names of the person not the person itself so I say this dot name dot name is of type string so we have seen string provides implementation of comparable and its implement implementation of comparable and its method compared to so on string object we can call compare to by passing p2 dot name what we are doing here is we are comparing name of person 1 that is this dot name with name of person 2 name of person 2 it written say integer yeah, we also need to return integer just say return so this is the implementation so when tree set tries to sort person it calls this method so internally the logic which we implemented is to compare name of person 1 with name of person 2 see this so internally your tree set is going to do this assume we have p1 p2 in a tree set it's going to do p1 dot compared to of p2 now the current object is p1 and the parameter which we are passing is p2 come back to your class the current object is p1 which is this the parameter which is coming to your compare to is p2 now it's comparing name of person 1 with name of person 2 okay yes now we provided the implementation of comparable to the person go back to this test class rerun this example so when we ran this example earlier person was not implementing any comparable interface and it was throwing some class cast exception but now we are implementing comparable interface and its method compared to and inside we are comparing name of person 1 with name of person 2 run this example now 
series. Now that exception has gone, why? We implemented comparable interface to the person. So that is the reason it's not giving any exception. So based on our implementation, it's comparing the names of the persons and it is sorting persons based on the name. See, it's giving Abilas first, Chandra second, Hari is third and Ravi is the fourth one. If you compare the order in which we added, it's, it's quite different. So there Hari is first, Ravi is second, Abhilash is three, third one, Chandra is fourth one. So internally, your tree set is sorting your person objects based on the name. So the conclusion of this explanation is, if you want to sort any object using collections, the object must provide the implementation of comparable interface. Otherwise, the sorting will not work in, in collections. I think this session helped you to learn what is comparable, how it is used in the collection framework for sorting objects. Thank you.